Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Show and Tell video. Today I'm continuing on with my dad's model car collection as we take a look at the Stutz Bearcat from MPC. Now this is another really cool old time kit. The last time we got to see it was in 1979 and it would re be really nice if round two could actually find the molds for this and pop them out one more time. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see how my dad built this model. Now here we have my dad's build of the 1914 Stutz Bearcat. And what you can see here is the nice chrome radiator and headlights, as well as the crank down below for cranking over the engine. My dad painted the springs with white paint and the front axle flat black, and the fenders black with testers paints. This would be Tester's Gloss Black, which he applied with a brush. All the red on here is actually plastic, built in that old school style. And then the uh, pinstripes along here are actually decals. I do believe the fender ones are hand painted. The black one here and on the fuel tank are also decals. Again, a really nice model kit. It has the monocle up here, as well as a single headlight for a fog light, I guess. This is actually a sports car, not a race car, so you can figure out how that works. It was also used in racing, so there you go. It's got the brakes on the back, and then the levers for gear shifting and the brake, the horn, and you've got your spark advance on the steering wheel. Up front, there were no brakes, and that was because back in this time period, they couldn't figure out how to get the brake cables to turn with the wheels. That came a bit later on. The engine under here is the T-Type, and I will remove the hood here and just spin her around again. This one you can actually see the valves on both sides, the inlet and the exhaust. Now this is the intake side, and actually that's the exhaust side, pardon me. I did look at this before, but I guess spinning this around got me confused. You can see all the gauges and instruments up here under the dash. And this is the intake side. It's got the updraft carburetor feeding into that manifold on our cylinder heads. Here we have a wonderful illustration from the 1926 Dykes Automobile Encyclopedia, and here it shows how the T engine worked with the updraft carburetor as well. So what we have here is the fuel tank and then our fuel line going into the float on the carburetor. And then the carburetor, the gas, comes across here. There's a gasoline screw for adjustments. And then it gets into the air intake, which splits the gas in air fuel mixture into the cylinder head. Now here we have the exhaust or the intake valve, pardon me, and there's a spark plug right on top. And this is what I'm talking about with the T-style cylinder head. So the valve would drop down, let the gas in, the gas goes into the top of the cylinder head, and then, as you can see, the spark's way over here. So in the spark part of the uh, movement of the engine, the spark would hit here and shoot the flame right across the top, and then here we have our exhaust valve, and these are all on gears for the gear down here as well, and a cam shaft down the middle. And then once the exhaust comes out, it will go into the muffler and out of the car. And here we've got that wonderful T engine. You can see on these cylinder heads, it looks like it's got eight spark plugs, four per cylinder. Now that could actually be a thing to help clean up the uh, exhaust and the gasoline inside the engine. And there you can see the intake side with that updraft carburetor way down below, that little chrome piece just right in there. You can also see the steering column dropping down and taking a look at the instruments there behind the dashboard. Again, really awesome stuff. And you've also got your floor pedals and this little flat tray, which I guess would prevent you from going through the floorboards. Again, a really cool and well-built model by my dad. Here's the Stutz Bearcat from underneath, and you can see the interesting oil pan on here, which also includes the clutch and flywheel. And then it goes back into this drive shaft, which has the torsion bars heading out to the rear axle. There is quite a lot of mechanical brakes going on here, which look really heavy. And then it's got a two-speed style rear axle. 
Now one more thing about this model car is that it came out originally in 1971 molded in white plastic. This here is the 1979 edition, which is the last time we actually saw this model kit in production from AMT. Now this is another one of those cars of the stars kind of things, because this came out following a TV show called The Bearcats. in which two men drove around in a car, a Stutz Bearcat, a white one, and it sort of took place after World War I, although there is a lot of sort of things where they have episodes where they go and fight in the Mexican Revolution under Pancho Villa. Well, they're not under Pancho Villa, they're under uh, Teddy Roosevelt, but, you know, that sort of thing going on. The show only lasted for about half a season, and then it just never made it good in the ratings and was cancelled. So that's the story of the MPC Stutz Bearcat and why there is a model kit and how it's associated with that TV show. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the 1914 Stutz Bearcat that my dad built way back in 1979. You know what I really want to try to do is build a museum that encompasses all these model cars that I inherited off my dad, you know, to help support my dad's memory, as well as my own model cars and model kits. Now, currently I don't really have any money to get this going, it's just all a concept in my mind. But if this is the sort of thing you wish to support, as well as my YouTube videos and all that, why not click that join button and for just $3 a month you could help my channel to grow and maybe even make this museum idea of mine come to life. Now, if you want to see what model kits we have for sale on our website, don't forget to visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. There's going to be a link that comes up. If you click that, it'll take you right to our model car page where you can check out to see what we have. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel all over YouTube so that we can get that count up. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. Oh, and if you've built this model in the past, we would like to know how you did it. Write down in the comments what you thought.